this is Tamika with Pastries, Pumps, and Pie, and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be looking at this um, tr craft trimmer kit that I got um, by the brand Westcott. I purchased this at Sam's Club, and I have a paper trimmer, but it was like given to me by someone, and it's not the best. I think the blade is not all that sharp. And then I saw this. This was only, I want to say, $14 at Sam's Club and um, and it's probably hard to see all of it in frame right now um, but it's 11 pieces it has two pairs of scissors a craft knife with some other blades to go with the craft knife it has a cutting mat and then it also has the paper trimmer so I'm going to go ahead and open this baby up I've had it for like two weeks now I just haven't bothered with it Alrighty, I went ahead and took everything out of the package, and um, so that way we can take a closer look at everything. Um, let's go ahead and just start with the scissors. These are, like I was saying, they're titanium bonded scissors. Um, they say that they stay sharper longer, and they're good for whether you're left-handed or right-handed, and there is a lifetime warranty on these. So what I want to do is because I like scissors, and I like good scissors, and I have tons of scissors around the parts here i want to see how well they cut so these are the smaller ones okay yeah they slice and they slice nice <laughs> yeah they slice really well i like that and then i'm gonna try it with my left hand in case i, if I was left-handed oh yeah and i can and i'm not left-handed and that's easy for me to use those that's pretty nice Alrighty, so those are the smaller ones, and it's good to have tiny scissors and larger ones as well for different projects and different things that you need to cut. So here's the larger ones. They slice so nicely. Oh my gosh. I'm really impressed with that. They are really nice and sharp. Like the last brand that I had from Sam's Club was a Scotch brand, like the Scotch brand that makes the 3M three m scotch yeah so that pack was nice too so these are nice as well they're just as nice as the last ones that i had Alrighty, let's move all this out of the way and now we're going to test the craft knife now i personally use a slice tool right now um that's what i've been using and it's pretty sharp so I'm going to put some washi down so we can look at how it cuts the washi. I'm going to put it first directly on the mat, and then I'm going to cut some on the paper. So, now, please, when you guys are using your craft knives, you guys have a habit, and I've seen it so much, of just pulling the thing off really quickly, and it scares me that somebody is going to cut themselves. I'm not going to be pulling this thing off very quickly. Not at all. So I'm going to be taking my time to pull it off because I don't want to cut myself. And so let's see. I barely put any force and bam, nice slice and the washi tape just pulls up nicely. No cut in the board, um, in the mat there. All right. So now let's try this on the paper. Now, it says that um, that this thing is anti-rolling. So if you see, because of this here, it's not going to roll when you put it down. But just still be careful and try to keep this part off to the side or at the bottom. So, I mean, I just want people to be very careful with these things because they're very sharp. Um, so let's see. Let's cut through here. Once again, I didn't need a lot of pressure. And it cut through there nicely. Actually, I put a little bit too much pressure because that one cut through the paper. So you just really want to just glaze over this, apparently. That's all it takes is to just barely graze the paper or the washi. Because that's all it's going to take. It's not going to take, see? Barely glide it through there. And you'll get your cut. That's how sharp it is. 
if you put any more pressure it's going to cut through the paper so if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there, there's a really small cut in the paper there. So you just want to be very careful with that. And be careful when you put it back in. You want to put it in slowly, okay? So it does come with five additional blades, okay? Um, I'm scared to touch them, actually, because I want to cut myself. So let's see, there we go. So five additional blades. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the paper that came in there. So it has these five. One for straight lines and corners, one for seam rippers for like, so if you've um, done some sewing and you wanna rip the seams in some fabric, this one helps with buttonholes. I personally don't sew, never mastered that craft. But um, this can be a handy tool for someone that is into sewing. And then this one does rounded corners. And this one is just for little fine details. So nice. Now, I don't know how that's going to be trying to swap those blades out. I'm not going to do that today because I'm actually really terrified. So, yes, that's not going to happen today. But we're going to put these back in the case. That's a good thing that they do come in a case. Push that down in there so that the top will go back on that well. There we go. So there's the five blades. Okay, so now that we've looked at the craft knife and the blades, we're going to look at the trimmer. Now, the paper trimmer itself is pretty lightweight. I don't know how sturdy this is. I think... If handled the wrong way, it could possibly break. It does have the um, lift arm to help place the paper and keep the paper sturdy. Um, and then it has these two blades here. It cuts up to 10 sheets of 20 pound paper. So you can use it for regular copy paper, construction paper, um, photographs, cardstock. So once again, we're going to try some regular printer paper. I'm going to draw a line on here to just give me an idea of how that works. Of course, my line isn't going to be straight because straight lines are just not my thing. So you lift the arm, you put your paper in, and you want your paper to line up with this here, which is going to be a little hard for me to see. But I think I got it. Okay, and then you put that down. And then you cut. So I was a little off, but you get the idea. So it cuts really nicely. Um, yeah, real nice. So this is, like I said, regular printer paper. So I want to try this out on some cardstock. So I'm going to try back with the scissors again. So here's the little scissors with the cardstock. Cuts really nice and easy through the cardstock. Sometimes if you have a dull pair of scissors, it takes a little work to cut through cardstock. But look at that large pair. It just cuts through there like butter. Real nice. I like a good pair of scissors. I know that sounds crazy, but I do. I like a good pair of scissors. So now we're going to try cutting the cardstock and see how that works. Okay, so you know you want to line it flush against the bottom here. You put your left handle down, and then you just bring your blade down. Okay, that didn't cut all the way. I don't know why. Oh, I guess because this one was down here already. So let's try that again. There we go. So nice cut all the way through. So up to 10 sheets of 20 pound paper, it says this will cut. So not bad. And I know a lot of us have gotten into making our own dashboard. So this is a good trimmer to use for, you know, making your own dashboards. And um, Shakisha over at Her Lovely Plan showed us how to make the shaker. So having a nice trimmer will really help with those type of projects. And now let's take a look at our mat itself. Let me move the trimmer here. 
so the mat is a nice weight i've seen some of these things where they're very heavy this one isn't super heavy it's um a fairly nice thickness and weight um i like that it has the grid lines it has the measurements it has angle measurements which i love as a math person i love that and it says that this is a self-healing mat so not exactly sure what that means i guess if it gets cut it kind of i don't know don't get me to lying but it says it's a self-healing mat and um so yeah so that's everything that comes in the kit. So once again, you get the, the cutting mat, you get the paper trimmer, you get the two pairs of titanium bonded scissors, you get the craft knife, and you get the five additional plates. And I think this was a steal for $14. So if a, you do have a Sam's Club in your area, go ahead and check that out. See if they have this available. It came in this kind of teal greenish color, and it also came in a blue like I said, they don't keep things in stock all the time. Their items vary. So if this is something you're interested in, it's best that you go to Sam's Club now. Check it out and see if your local Sam's Club uh, does have this. Alrighty, so that's it for this video. You guys know what to do. If you really enjoyed the video and the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So go ahead and slay, subscribe, like the video, and accept the alerts. And because um, you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, I've got some really cool stuff coming up for you guys. So I will catch you guys in the next video. So until then, bye bye.